Last night, I did a webinar about the biggest risk we have in retirement, which is outliving our money. In fact, the biggest concern most people have who are in retirement or pre-retirement is how to set their life up so they have enough money for the rest of their life. And that's a big challenge, right? We always used to, when we're growing older, or we're doing things, you know, we used to planning for the house, planning for the kids to go to college, all these planning. And it, when it comes to planning for retirement, it's so important to have plans that are based on guarantees. Now, study after study shows that the biggest concern people have in pre-retirement or in retirement is making their money last a lifetime. In other words, they are really, really concerned about outliving their money. Actually, study after study shows that's a higher concern than death itself, believe it or not. And rightfully so. Look, you know, it's nothing worse than still living and having no money left. You worked hard all your life for that. But what we found is there are three factors that, that are important to consider when planning to make your money last a lifetime. And you've got to have strategies to cover these, these three factors. In fact, if you want to watch the webinar, shoot me an email, Michael at strategies and number four retirement.com. I'll shoot you out the copy of the webinar, the replay of the webinar. You would love it, right? In fact, I have a little worksheet that goes with this. I'm about to go over these three things. And these are the three things you need to cover and make sure you're covered for this to, to be able to make your money last a lifetime. And that's why I'm wearing this hat, cash flow, because it's all about cash flow, right? It's all about having the money coming in and making sure it lasts a lifetime. So the first one is market risk. Now, it is great when the market's going up. We all enjoy the upside of the market, but what comes with the upside of the market is the downside of the market. Now, for the last several years, the market's been on fire, I would say, uh, you know, certainly the last few months, right? Who knows how long that's gonna last? And it's easy to like the market when it's going up, but how do you feel when the market's going down? Look, market risk is a big contributor of outliving the money. Ask people in 2008 who were in retirement and lost 40% of their portfolio because the broker told them, oh, don't worry, you're diversified, you're safe. And before they know it, they lost 30, 40% of their money. They killed their cash flow because they had to have money coming in to pay their living expenses. They had to take money from their investments and it went down at the same time. That is a double whammy. So how much risk should you have versus places of safety? I'll tell you for us, strategies for retirement, we help our clients because we provide strategies that still give them some of the upside of the market, but cover the downside. So when the market goes down, they don't lose a thing. When the market goes up, they're getting gains, right? And, and, and it's a balance here, a seesaw. How much you wanna risk, how much you want in safety. But the way to look at this is not when the market goes up, when the market goes down. When the market goes down, how do you feel? If you lost 10, 20, 30% of your money right now, how does that make you feel? And if that makes you feel uncomfortable, if there's a gut in your stomach that makes you feel uncomfortable about that, then basically we need to talk. Give me a call, 203. 372-4442 because we need to show you some strategies that are safe but will grow and you can get rid of that downside of the market, right? So that's one market risk. Number two, the risk of inflation. Inflation averages roughly about 3% give or take. The problem is years ago when CD rates were paying so high inflation, that's awesome. But so many people I know, they have their money sitting in the bank, sitting in cash. And not doing anything for them, right? So they have their money in cash. Now, I'm not talking about the money you need for emergencies. You should have an emergency stash of money and you should have enough money in cash to pay your bills every month, right? But I'm talking about the money you don't need right away. The reason you put it in cash, if you put it in cash, is you are afraid of what the market might do. But what if we took out away the, what if we took away the downside of the market? Right? So bank rates, CD rates are pathetic right now. I mean, I don't need to tell you, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. They're not, and that's what banks do. They, you know, they pay a tiny little interest, they loan out their money and get a lot of interest for it, right? So banks are making a ton of money on our money, but we're not sharing in that because we're getting little tiny interest because interest rates have been so low in those CDs and money markets. So here's the thing, if you're into safety, I can actually show you how to get three, four, five times the amount of money that you typically get in a bank and still keep it, in my opinion, just as safe as a bank. Again, you gotta call me, 203-372-4442, or you gotta email me, michael at strategy4retirement.com. And the last thing is longevity risk. 
And longevity risk is a real risk. Look, we are all living longer and longer and longer. It's not uncommon for someone to live to 95, even 100. There are huge challenges in that for medical, long-term care. But that longevity risk, how are you gonna make your money last a lifetime? Are you gonna kind of uh, create uncertainty where maybe if you do this and maybe if you do that, maybe your money lasts a lifetime? And that's what I can't stand about you know, a lot of the financial industry, the brokers, you know, well, if you take this amount out and you do this, you might, your money might last a lifetime. I don't play in uncertainty. I don't need drama in my investments. You don't need drama in your investments, right? You don't want to live in retirement wondering, will my money last a lifetime? That's a lot of drama to deal with. It's a lot of stress to deal with. It's called if come, right? We don't need if come, we need income, guaranteed income that will last us a lifetime and plans that will do that. So many people are so afraid to spend their money because they're so worried about how long they're gonna live. If we knew the day we're gonna die, we could plan it to the penny, but we don't. There's so many people are so afraid to spend their money because they're afraid they're gonna outlive their money. What if you didn't have to worry about it? What if you had a guaranteed paycheck coming in, right? So that's why the name of my company is called Strategies for Retirement. For 30 years, I've been helping people protect their income and assets due to financial risks that they'll face whether it's the risk of outliving your money or the risk of long-term care or the risk of, of, of dying premature, whatever it is, we help you. So here's the takeaway. If you'd like more information, there's a few ways to get it. First of all, I have a great worksheet that goes over market risk, inflation risk, and longevity risk. And if you want that worksheet, my compliments, just email me at michael at strategies the number four, retirement.com, and I will email you that workout, that, that, that worksheet complimentary. I'll just email it to you. You can take a look at this excellent worksheet. If you'd like to see a copy of the webinar we did, shoot me an email. Just say, hey, send me the worksheet and send me the webinar. We're happy to help. Or if you just want to check me out before you email me, go to the website, strategies, the number four, retirement.com. You can check us out. But either way, look, you know, we help so many of our clients protect their assets and income, and we do such a good job with clients. And also, literally for customer service, we actually, are, clients are, are like our family. I mean, so basically we give excellent customer service. So I hope that helped. I know it was a little long-winded today, but it's important, right? So stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, protect that hard-earned money. Take care. Mike Lehop, Strategies for Retirement.